I wanted to uh, talk to you briefly about the search box changes that are coming as part of Microsoft Search in OneDrive and SharePoint. Uh, my name is Karam Yujaturk. I'm a program manager with the OneDrive and SharePoint team, and I look after mostly the integration with Microsoft Search. And here are some of the things that you can look forward to. Over the next quarter, um, we are hoping to introduce a scoping control into the search box. And uh, this will help you see uh, the context of where you're going to be searching uh, easier and then switch this context as necessary uh, uh, if needed. So um, this will be available in OneDrive for Business. So you it will show up like this, as you see on the on the left, where you know you'll be able to kind of scope searches to current folder or only my drive, or it can be like the all files in the organization. And then there's the whole organization affordance, which lets you jump out into the enterprise search center um, in the um, SharePoint start page um, to kind of search across all types of files, not just files, but also list items, pages, sites, etc., um, whatever. Uh, occurs uh, in uh, in the Enterprise Search Center, and of course the connector uh, information uh, that is also becoming uh, added as uh, custom verticals as well. So that's kind of uh, uh, giving users a better sense of where they're searching. So this is a big change for OneDrive for Business because today there's only one way to search in OneDrive for Business, and that's like a, a hybrid model of um, the files I recently worked on or files shared with me, plus the things in my OneDrive for business. And this will kind of provide a little more clarity, hopefully, for those different scopes and, and provide uh, the, the folder scoping, which is kind of important. Um, the other thing we're excited about for OneDrive for business is the shared libraries that appear in OneDrive for business. You couldn't search in those. Um, and with this affordance, you, you'll also be able to use the current folder affordance to go and search for things um, in those areas. And the scoping control is also coming to uh, the search boxes in SharePoint. So if you're in a library or if you're in the site, um, you'll be able to scope things to the current site, to all sites in the hub, if a site is connected or associated with a hub. And again, the same whole organization concept is here, where you'll be able to uh, jump to the same place. So it's kind of this universal, universality of uh, Microsoft Search. Wherever you start from, there's a contextual thing, and then there's the ability to jump to the whole organization uh, as needed. And similarly, current folder, current library will work in a library or a list, um, and then you'll be able to jump to the site, the hub, and the whole organization, again, uh, using the scoping control there. So some things to call out. This uh, kind of works for scoping wider and not uh, narrower uh, or lower. So you can go from site to hub to whole organization, but you can't, once you're in the hub, you can't really drill down into a site because you don't have a way of selecting that site. Hopefully that's obvious. We have a setting called search scope, which we will I will uh, remind everybody about in uh, two slides over, that allows you to say, hey, I want uh, my site to start searching at the hub level or at the whole organization level. And if any of these settings are set, then you'll see only those options here. So if you set it to hub, for example, for a site that is associated with the hub, you'll only see the all sites in hub and whole organization scopes. You won't see the current site scope. And then if you set it to whole organization, again, uh, whole organization will be the scope and you won't see the scoping control since you can't change it further down. And then the suggestions that we show will match the scope selected. So if you're switching over to current folder, for example, in a library or in your OneDrive, you'll see suggestions from that scope. If you're switching to hub or whole organization, you'll get the suggestions for that for that uh, selection. Um, so it will it will match the suggestions that appear under the search box will match those things. And there's a subtle line here uh, that you may notice. So this is kind of like, hey, you're jumping out into another experience indicator for the scoping control. So if you're in OneDrive for Business and you select whole organization and you submit a search, it will open a new tab, take you to SharePoint start page so that you can get to that enterprise search experience. Um, similarly, if you're in a folder uh, in a library in SharePoint sites and then you switch to uh, current site or old sites, it will open a new tab and go to the site search experience or the hub search experience and leave the, the library experience behind. So that's kind of a subtle indicator that 
you'll switch to a new tab for, for these scopes here. And if you set a custom results page uh, for the new search box, uh, those, that will continue to work. So we will always take the custom results page, but uh, you'll have to uh, punch in the scope accordingly and then switch that up uh, if, you, if you need to. All right, moving on. The other feature I wanted to tell you about is uh, Microsoft Search for Classic Sites. Um, so this is also, this was expected um, in this quarter that we're in, but we're in July, uh, in June, and uh, you may have been suspicious that uh, you haven't heard that this was coming already. We are having a little delay there um, with the rollout of the Microsoft Search search box, but we are now testing this inside Microsoft. So uh, I expect this to roll out to uh, targeted release in the third quarter of the year and then uh, to, to broader production customers as well. So the concept here is relatively simple, uh, but it's a little difficult to pull off. Uh, so but I'll try to explain it and then I'll go into the next slide and go through some of the details of uh, how you can kind of manage this experience. So uh, the idea here is that hey, if you have classic sites that uh, are not customized, there's no reason they shouldn't be using Microsoft Search. We are already indexing all the content in your classic sites in Microsoft Search. And ideally, you'll be able to use the Microsoft Search experience, which offers uh, a little uh, better relevance and ranking experience, and is consistent with the modern experiences that you're getting on your classic sites too. So what we're doing to this end is if you have a, a classic team site uh, with publishing not turned on at the site level and no discernible custom master page, in those cases, we will by default try to remove the search box that's built into the classic master page and then add the Microsoft search search box uh, to the top of the page. And as your users are using this, it will kind of work uh, the same way as uh, the, the search box that you'd find in a modern site. And it will take you to the modern Microsoft search search results, go up to that site and, and show you the, the, the results from there. Now, of course, you may have multiple reasons why you wouldn't want that. For example, if you've customized your search experience and you know, you, you've added uh, experiences like custom display templates, etc., and, and you don't want to uh, uh, switch your uh, experience, you'll be able to opt out of that experience so that classic pages are not touched. Or, of course, uh, showing the using the the, um, the concepts that GOT presented uh, earlier, you would be able to also implement some of those customizations in modern uh, and and start using those uh, as well. So there's a there's you know a, a bit of a, a optionality there. We are not going to try to automatically upgrade um, um, sites that uh, have publishing turned on at the site level or have a, a custom uh, master page with a with a different name than Seattle.master or a, um, a Oslo.master. And uh, we will not attempt to uh, upgrade those since they may have other customizations in there that, that we don't want to break uh, with the custom master pages. In those cases, uh, everything will continue to work, but you'll be able to opt in uh, if you still want the uh, Microsoft Search uh, experience there using our search box in navbar setting. So how would that work? Let me quickly go over that and then I'll try to take any questions if we get time or I can follow up with questions uh, later. So uh, as you know, uh, we have two uh, web and site collection level settings uh, that, is, that is available now, actually. So this is available for use that you can set these settings today. Uh, the first one is the search scope, uh, web.search scope setting. Um, this is also available through several helpers um, in the PMP uh, PowerShell. But this is the one that allows you to set the default scope to be at the site level, at the hub level, or the whole organization level for a given SharePoint site. So this continues to work. Uh, there isn't much uh, change here. Uh, it kind of has a bearing on the scoping control that we, we just covered earlier. The second one has more bearing on the, uh, the upgrade behavior that we're going to get for classic pages. And that's the web.search box in navbar as well as the site.search box in navbar. So this is the site collection 
setting, and this is the 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 the, uh, the site setting, the web SP web setting. And this will override uh, the broader thing. If this is set to default, or, or if this is set to default, you can override it using the site collection level. But if the site has set something, uh, one of these settings, and the web can override that by setting one of these uh, settings explicitly as well. So it kind of gives you a bit of flexibility in, in how to combine those two, the site collection level and uh, the site level. So zero is the default setting. And this is the behavior that I was telling you about where um, we will try to upgrade the team sites that don't have the publishing feature turned on or don't use a custom master page. And the search box will just move to the top, uh, will be removed from the page, and then you're starting to use um, the setting there. Um, and any sites that have the pu site publishing feature turned on or have a custom master page, they do not, uh, have a, they do not see any change, basically. Option number one is all pages, including classic pages. And this is basically an opt-in, uh, if you will, for those sites that didn't get to upgrade. And uh, this will help you to, to move to that model uh, of having all pages always try to use the search box in the nav bar, even if they're classic and even if you know some of these features are turned on. And uh, it will kind of be an opt-in into the modern experience for those cases. The number two option is an opt out. So if you're in the first, uh, if you're in the bucket where you're in a team site, you're using classic pages, but you're not using the publishing feature at the site level and you don't have a custom master page and you want to make sure that you continue to use the classic experience. This is your opt out. You set this for your web or your site collection and uh, none of the, none of those sites with this set or the, the, the site collection with this set will be upgraded. Microsoft Search. So this is kind of an opt-out uh, model. And then last but not least, I know some of uh, us uh, and some customers want to make sure that there is no search box and they want to provide their own search box or they want to uh, disable search altogether uh, for a given site or site collection. And this last setting is to hide the search box that we provide in the street uh, navigation bar. And when you set this, uh, then we will not emit the search box into the page and you'll be free to do whatever you want using SharePoint framework extensions or any other mechanism that you may be using. Note that this will only affect modern pages, uh, classic pages, because you already have a way to, to modify the master page. We're not going to touch those and, and try to do anything there. So this is kind of a, a hide the search box in modern pages and I'll take care of the classic pages to do as I see fit uh, type of situation. All right, so that's kind of what I wanted to cover. And I think we have zero time for questions, but- Pretty um, much, I'll... pretty much. The, the only question, Karen, was that uh, the kind of a thing which came from Frank Cornu and a few others is the extensibility story. Um, yes. the, are the, the new controls, are they web parts or are they something which can be connected to other web parts as well? Uh, if you or T or somebody can actually answer on that. So are they, if they're web parts, then they have web part connections and then people can extend the experience through, through that model. Do you mean in the refiners and, and um, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, uh, Jyoti, as far as I know, feel free to jump in, but they are not web parts, right? This is basically a configuration that the search page reads and uh, it is kind of a component that Microsoft uh, runs. So it's not, uh, uh, they're not individual web parts on that page. It's kind of a monolithic search results page that has those components on it and reads a configuration yes. from the admin experience. Absolutely, yes. Okay, so yeah, and, and you already answered that, uh, that there's no customization at that point uh, for now, but uh, it might be a good, uh, let's say, a suggestion to have an extensibility point in those things so you can add then potentially add new web parts on a page and so you wouldn't actually have to override what we have and out of the box, you just extend what we have out of the box. Um, so, but again, that's coming later, so. Yeah, and the option, of course, with the custom results pages, of course, is still there and, and, and available to make full use of the SharePoint canvas, you know, to use uh, modern web parts, including, of course, the PMP search web parts uh, that this audience is very familiar with. Excellent. Thank you, Karim.